Hey, race fans, it's the Xfinity Series preview show. I'm Alex Weaver here with Jonathan Merriman. Christopher Bell has become quite the king of Richmond. He gets it done in the Commonwealth. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we kind of saw this coming. Christopher Bell, he's really, really good at Richmond. He swept there a season ago, coming off a Las Vegas race where him and his crew chief, Jason Ratcliffe, they really thought they should have won that race. They had the car to beat there. They bring an absolute hot rod to Richmond, stink up the show. Christopher Bell was able to flex those muscles, and that number 20 Toyota looked really, really fast. It did. Uh, no doubt that the big three is still winning. But let's look ahead to the Roval because the Xfinity Series is heading to Charlotte this weekend. Chase Briscoe was the inaugural winner there last year. Can he go back to back at the Roval? You know, Chase Briscoe is really interesting to me when you look at his background. He's raced on dirt and open wheel cars. He's won in a truck at Eldora. He's won at an oval course in NASCAR. He's run at a road course in NASCAR, and he's won that. We talked about the Roval. So he just, he really can win anywhere in any weekend. Last year, I don't think anybody saw him winning that race. Definitely coming in this year as a defending winner, all eyes are going to be on him and that 98. If he can get a win in there and help him advance his way through the playoffs, it will be huge. Chase Briscoe. Definitely a wheel man. He's got some sports car racing experience yep. as well, so that's why he's good on those road courses. Well, we're going to keep an eye out on the 98. Another car that we're going to keep an eye out on and is the 22, now deemed Austin Sendrick, the entertainer. I'm going to call him the hugger because he just hugs everybody. Picks everybody but up. He's really good at road courses, so could we look for this to be his wheelhouse here at the Roval? Yeah, uh, I think absolutely when you take and look at what he did in the month of August. I mean, he was on fire. He was super, super fast. Um, I think the Roval is a different animal, right? It's a lot of unknowns here. I know it's the second time we've been back, but that sample size is only one race. Overall talent, can Austin Sindra go out there and dominate this race and win it? Absolutely, but you're going to have to qualify up front so you're not caught back in that stuff. Stage racing comes into play and pit strategy and all of that stuff. So you're going to be racing around guys sometimes. You're not going to be able to, to drive away from them, but that's not unlike what we've seen at the road courses this year where he has won, so Austin Cendrick should be hard to beat as well. All right, who you got? Uh, I'm going to take Austin Cendrick. Why not? <laughs> he's, uh, he's the road course ringer in this series. I know Chase Briscoe, we talked about how versatile he is in his background, but I think Austin cendrick has got the hot hand, and let's not forget, I think we'll have a couple lingers in this race as well, but I think the regulars are going to beat them. All right, well, I'm going to go for the back-to-back -back because I just really like a good story. You stole my pick. I told Austin that I would pick him this week, so as long as one of us does it, I'm in the clear. I'm going to go with the 98 of Chase Briscoe. I think that's a good pick. I think it's going to be between one of those two guys, and we'll have to see how things shake out. Surely it will be nuts this yeah. weekend. An exciting weekend coming up for the Xfinity Series. We're heading to Charlotte Motor Speedway to race at the Roval that's coming up Saturday, 3.30 on NBCSN. We'll see you guys right back here next week.